Well, this is a hard number to take in. One in five children with cancer in the U.S. will not survive. I mean, that is a gut-wrenching statistic. There are people, though, that are fighting, and they're fighting really hard to change this. Today, that fight was on display at St. Mark's School in West Park, where dozens of students shaved their heads to raise money for cancer research. Here's Lindsay Buckingham. You'd think you were at a rock concert. But these kids packed in the St. Mark's School gym. Then there are those here that are fighting right now. They're fighting the fight of their life. And we are fighting alongside you. Are here for a purpose. Children have a long time to live. For the eighth year in a row, the St. Mark's School community teamed up with St. Baldrick to raise money for pediatric cancer research. All right, you guys are ready to get going? One by one, stepping up to be heroes. Nearly 100 people registered for the event. For some, my hair was too big and I really wanted to save it. It was time for a trim. I am going to be donating my hair to um, it's uh, children for hair loss. The mission personal to every single person here. I'm here to support the kids of St. Mark. I'm also the father of a cancer survivor. My, my daughter Gianna is in sixth grade. Uh, Gigi was diagnosed with cancer at age three. The young ones get it too. My grandpa had cancer twice and my uncle had cancer once. It's also about perspective as a parent. I have three healthy kids and I am very fortunate. But not everyone is. We decided we were gonna raise some money for the kids who are not so fortunate and the families who, you know, don't have such healthy children. The reality is kids battling cancer need more research. Unfortunately, only 4% of government funding for cancer research goes towards children. On days like today, there's hope. Because it's fun and it helps kids that have cancer. Blow well, night. Today, the St. Mark community raised a record-breaking $63,000 for pediatric cancer research. And what's more impressive, since the event began eight years ago, $500,000 raised wow. to help those oh kids. That's, That's incredible. incredible. It shows, too, how selfless they are. I you know, know. They, yeah, because kids can be attached to their hair. You know, yeah. <laughs> that one kid wasn't. We all yeah, be he was funny, by the way. He's like, Shh. get it off. Yeah. But uh, but isn't that cool that really at is. such a young age they they care so much? Yeah. And they're they're learning that they can make a difference. Yeah. There is something they can do to help when there is a social problem, and clearly this exists. And they're probably feeling pretty good about themselves that they were able to do something, a small thing, but can go a long way. But even the people, I mean, you understand how expansive the problem is when you talk, you just yeah. go to something like that and there are so many people there that have had somebody close to Affected them. Affected by it, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think that that was the, the most powerful to me because every single person there was touched in some way, even if it was just to show up and support it. Right. And that was really neat. Great story. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Lynn. Thanks, Lynn. Thanks. Thanks.